Now, let's talk about the latest aspect of, of your career, which is, I mean, um, it's quite extraordinary. You've been all these years in, in movies, and now all of a sudden you've hit the jackpot <laughs> with a thing called Star Wars, which I saw um, last week, and I, I think just looked, I think it's super, I think it's marvellous escapism and oh, it'll sure. clean up. But, I mean, how did you come to, to be involved with a piece of science fiction like that? Well, I, it arrived as a script. I was just finishing a picture in Hollywood, um, and another day to go, and the script arrived on my dressing table, um, and I heard that it had been delivered by George Lucas, and I thought, well, that's rather impressive, because he's an up-and-coming uh, and very respect-worthy young director, so... And then when I opened it and found it was science fiction, I thought, oh, crumbs, you know, this is simply not for me. Uh, <laughs> and then I started reading, and it seemed to me the dialogue was pretty ropey. Uh, <laughs> but I had to go on turning the page. and the, I mean, that's an essential yes. in any script. You know, you've got to know what happens next or, uh, or what's going to be said next. And I, I went on reading and I thought, no, I'm gonna, I, I like this. Uh, if only we can get some of the dialogue altered. And then I met him, we got on very well, and I found myself doing it, that's all. And it's made more money than any other movie ever made. So I'm told, And yes. you've got yourself part of the action. Ah, well. Two that's... and a half percent, isn't it? No, 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 not quite that, no. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, Alec, how much uh, is it? Uh, well, as you want that story. Please. I tried to keep this dark. I don't know where this all sprang from. <laughs> um, I think it was the Evening Standard to blame for this. Um, now, I had a contract. I, my agent said I've asked for two percent of whatever because we didn't think it would make any, you know. I've never had a, I've had a percentage on a film before, and they lose money like mad if I have a percentage. <laughs> and I said, oh, fine, all right, two percent. Um, and the day before the film opened in San Francisco, uh, George Lucas phoned me and said um, he's very, very again he's like Anna Bennett, he's very diffident and very shy and quiet and. He has a funny little voice. And he said, um, I think the movie's kind of going to be all right. And I said, oh, I'm glad, George. And he said, yeah, I th I, the press quite like it. I said, good. And he said, we're pleased with, um, you know, very grateful for the little alterations you suggested. And so we'd like to offer you another half percent um, by making it two and a half. And I said, oh, that's, you know, that's marvelous. Thank you very much. But a matter of a few weeks later, in fact, the day I saw the film, I'd just seen it the once, um, the producer, who again is a charming, delightful chap, I said, about this little extra something you were kindly offering, I wonder if we could have something in writing just so that, you know, my agent and so on believes this. Uh, and he said, oh, the, about the quarter percent, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No fool there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's two and a quarter percent. We yeah. put that right. Yes, sadly. What, what's the fascination of it to you? Do you think? I think a marvelous, healthy innocence. Yes. Um, great pace, wonderful to look at, full of guts. Nothing unpleasant. I mean, people go bang bang and people fall over and are dead. But uh, you know, no horrors, no sleazy sex. In fact, actually, no sex at all. If it comes to that, uh, and a a sort of wonderful freshness about it, a kind of like a wonderful fresh air. Mm. When I came out of the cinema into Tottenham Court Road, I thought, oh, Lord, London's awfully sort of gritty and dirty and full of rubbish, isn't it? Because this had all been so um, I think that's invigorating. A, absolutely right, actually. One of the few movies I've come out of recently where I really felt happy and uplifted when mm. I came out. I'd enjoyed myself, mm, actually. That's all. I mean, people are going to read too much into it. It's a simple... Simple stuff for all ages. Are they doing that now fun. with you because of the kind of, you know, sort of doing what? reading more into it, the sort of guru figure that you play? Oh, yes, I'm getting some pretty strange letters. Are I you? don't mind telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, actually. Oh, no, surely, yes. yes. Uh, my wife and I have got problems. Would you come over and live with us for a few months? <laughs> 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 yes. You could have yourself a fine time. Um, 